Hello everyone and welcome to Empires Episode 7. It is a beautiful day today on the Empires SMP as usual and I have a plan of what we need to do. I'm a wizard with a plan, people. A wizard with a plan. Finally. So my base on Empires is a beautiful mess. It's, it's a little random. It's got a lot going on. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how I would describe it, but I feel like a mess does a good job of describing it. Can I make this landing? Ah, nailed it. Okay, so this episode, I feel like we should do a little bit of general cleaning and fixing up around my little valley that I call home. As you can see, I've already started by clearing out a few trees and fixing up some of the terrain, but there's more beyond that. This, this whole area needs a whole makeover, and I'm kind of excited for it. First things first, our gatehouse. It makes no sense, right? There's there's not really a good entrance into it. There's no interior at the moment. It functions as a gatehouse, not at all, really. So I think it would actually be the perfect place to start. Basically, I want people to have to go through my gatehouse when they're coming along this area. So in order to force them to do that, I ought to put up some sort of little wall sort of bordering my area. I feel like establishing this border is a really good idea, and I'm basically going to go from mountain to mountain. So as you can see, this is another mountain biome over there, and we'll just sort of connect the dots. I've got some tree clearing to do, but in general, this can be a border, I think, for us. Now, as for the other side, I really haven't worked out much of what I want to do over here, but we have this little narrow area whoop, between hills, and I want to definitely work with the terrain in this area. I feel like that's really important. So our other gatehouse, I think, will simply go right here. And it won't be so much of a gatehouse, more of like a little wall with a hole in it for people to walk through, but still. Any good wall, of course, needs a tower. So I think over here, we'll have one of our beautiful crystal watchtowers, which I haven't actually established any of those yet, but it's an idea that I have in my head that I think I would like to do. That seems like a relatively good position for tower one. And now we'll do tower number two over here. This one will give me a great view of my entire empire as well, which I'm excited about. On the inside of my base, I'm trying to just plan out a few paths and the general layout of my empire, which I feel like is really important and I haven't really done that yet. This is going quite well. I think I'll just spend a bit more time fixing up more of these areas. This is perfect. My base is looking much, much cleaner now. As you can see, I've cleared out a whole ton of trees, which is fantastic and gives me so much space to build down in this valley. And of course, if we take to the skies, we can see that I've set up two little walls on either side along here, which I would like to get some towers going on here now so that we can properly border this empire. These towers are going to act sort of like watchtowers, I think, for the entire general area. And I have a bunch of access to bone block because of mine and foot skeleton farm. So I think I'm gonna make use of that here. Yeah, that looks great, doesn't it, Gandalf? Oh, it's perfect. This is gonna border this area so well. I'm loving these darker cobbled blocks for the actual edge of this. It makes it pop so much. Working on just wrapping a few elegant details all the way around this tower. This is actually a tower that I've built before, but I built it on the Legacy SMP, which was an SMP that I didn't end up finishing. So I thought I would do it justice and build it here on Empires because it fits our theme so incredibly well. Then we just pop in some amethyst like so. And hopefully this will look pretty good. This top bit is where it gets a little bit complicated, but I think I'm making it work. Okay, to be honest, those ones are not correct, but the rest of it seems fine. Like this, this seems good. I feel like we can call this a massive success. I need to work on the foundation and the entrance to it a little bit more, but honestly, that's great. It's nap time though. Uh, Gandalf, hey Gandalf, it's sleepy time. So cute, what'd you give me? Raw chicken. Thank you so much, thank you. Yeah, th thank you. Um, okay. I definitely love this tower in this spot. Oh, it works so well. The bone block looks great. Just needs a couple of windows, maybe some vines, and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing over right there. 
should look great, I think. I'm so excited. My empire is going so well. Let me show you, let me show you. So now, look at this. When we come down here, we have like a proper divide right here. It feels very safe and official with the tower up there. We'll get a more official wall eventually, but it's a great plan. I've changed the paths to be cobblestone, and I think that I love the way that this looks. It still contrasts well with the buildings because my foundations are deep slate, which is great. Of course, we do have the second the Wizard Watchtower over in this direction, and I really like the way that this one looks too. It should do a really good job of keeping an eye on this side of things. While I was working, I was online alone, so I got to sleep almost every night. And when I did so, I always unsat my cat in here, Gandalf. Because of that, Gandalf has gifted me so many rabbit's foot. Well, there's only two right now, but I've already made some jump boosts and more jump boosts in here, and I've had an idea. What do you think would happen if we gave a goat jump boost? I'm just wondering, you know, for science and stuff. Luckily, I have tons of gunpowder to turn these into splash potions, and we'll do a little test. The only thing to do now is to find a goat, and luckily for me, there appears to be a goat on my roof. Hello, little goat. Can I interest you? Yeah, 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 okay. Brilliant, perfect. Um, okay, I have a goat in my attic. It's fine. You come on down here, you come on down. Come on down, there you go. Oh, they're very smart, wow. Okay, I, I respect that, actually, that's very cool. You know, you could probably just chill in here for a bit and I'll go see if I can find you a friend. Hold on, one moment, please. Oh. There we go, more goats. Hello, hello. Uh, yep, okay, graceful, hello. Oh yes, your jumping skills are beautiful. Would you like to come down? Can I interest you in in an adventure uh, with me? Yeah, hello, there we go, okay. How about you two come down on flat ground where things are a bit more uh, stable for me? Perfect, perfect, you know what? I don't even think I need to bring you two to my attic. I think this is fine, right here. Okay, so we're gonna do a breed. Perfect. Child, yes, jump boost. <laughs> oh, I've never seen moms with jump boost before. Wait, it's so good. It's so good. Jump, jump, jump. To be honest with you, I'm now not entirely sure what I'm actually meant to do with the goat that's in my house, but I'm hoping we'll figure it out. We're gonna be friends, right? Yeah, 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 we'll be friends. It's fine, we both live in the mountain together. With my base plans wonderfully underway and peace on the server thus far, I think it's about time that I build a room for me and my allies to finally meet. Because, well, let's be honest, our current meeting place is just randomly wherever they find me, and I feel like if I had an official room, things would go a lot smoother. So, I think I ought to design a secret place somewhere in the mountain. Luckily for me, the Cod Empire actually traded me a little bit of slime, which is perfect because that is what I'm going to need today if I want to accomplish any redstone. Uh, this is a bit scary, but I think I just need to make some pistons? I'm not sure how many. Basically, I'm just gonna follow a quick mumbo jumbo tutorial on a simple 2x2 flush door. Should be pretty easy, I think. After a little bit of work, the secret is underway. And of course, you can see it right there behind me. Of course though, if we come through here and open it up, we have the very first room. This room, I'm hoping, will be something to throw people off. I will put a desk in here, I think, of sorts. Uh, maybe just something like this. Yeah, there we go. We can put a couple chairs around it, maybe something of the sort where somebody could be meeting in here. Maybe some candles, some mystery, you know, you get the idea. But the real secret is going to be in a different area. Through one of these paintings, we have a secret entrance. And back here, I'm going to make a little maze of sorts towards the rooms that I want to go to. So here's the basis of my next idea. We have all of these doors, and the doors can lead to various places, but only one of them actually leads to the real meeting room. Something like this should confuse my enemy just enough to give me time to get online and hopefully confront them. Now, it's time to dig out the real meeting room. Let's get to work. 
really torn between going with purple walls or white walls, so I decided instead of making that decision, I would just do both. Okay, now, this is looking like a very peaceful room, if I do say so myself. I feel like there's no way anybody will want to go to war after they have a meeting in here. Surely, right? Okay, now I'm working on the table. I'm going with some simple oak wood. I feel like it'll balance the room really well. And it's this long, epic table, so I feel like it should look fairly bright here. And then I just have to plan out the chairs, which I was thinking maybe like some trap doors, but I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, actually. All right, gathering up a few more decorations for my lovely meeting room in here. I want some banners around the spot. I mean, they don't have to go literally everywhere, but you know, a couple would be nice. Can we, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Of course, we have some crystals on our main table, and I also brought some lanterns. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put these, but I think just maybe in the corners here so that we don't have to use torches. That would be great. Also, I need to light these candles. Oh, they look fantastic. I maybe should have dyed them purple, but for now, I think this will work. Flip. Jeff, where are you? Flip. Are you with the bees? I need to install a security. A Flip. Oh, hi. I'm gonna install a security hi. system for you. <laughs> you said you were in the house, so I came looking at your goat is just he lovely, could be right? Yeah. He's trying to let your bees out though. Yeah. That's an oversight on my part, to be honest. <laughs> well, I bring gifts. Thank you so very much for the direction <gasps> earlier. That is oh, five stacks for you. Thank you. Thank you for the gifts. That, thank yeah. you, thank you. Oh, I needed these oh. oh. Uh, sorry about that. I don't like your security. Um, I, I don't well, like your security. to be fair, they're very effective. It is, yeah, it is, yeah. Uh-huh, perfect. Flip is bringing me endstone from the end because I wanted to be able to grow a ton more purple, and this is the only thing that it grows on, which is rather inconvenient, but it's fine because I got some now. And this area is looking so fantastic. I actually brought some purple glazed terracotta because this room is an even number, so technically, Oh, it's painful. <laughs> I don't like working out glazed terracotta. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of nice, right? And then maybe I can get some purper in here too. The entranceway, although it is just for show and isn't actually the real meeting room, I still want it to look good, so this helps. Now, the only thing that I've got to do is place a few of these paintings around, I think, just to brighten up the area a little bit. Now this is a meeting room, if I do say so myself. I think it's absolutely perfect. The vibes are nice, not too warlike, right? Kind of peaceful, kind of nice, very purple and bright. Hopefully my allies will agree. Now that the war planning room is well underway, I've been also planning a little bit more on my empire, sketching out some basic houses so this area looks a little bit more established than it currently does. And I am quite happy with it. However, it seems that Scott is online and, and wanting something. We will be right over. Well, it's a good thing I've been decorating. I have guests, sort of, I think. I guess while I wait for whatever Scott is doing, I'll continue on my work down here. It's going quite well though, if I do say so myself. Hello. Hello. Hello, aren't you two looking so beautiful wait, today? Can, oh my goodness. Can you go into a door so we can knock? It's kind of part of the door, door salesman uh, thing. Let's go. <laughs> I don't even have well, a that, door. There's a door there, right there, right if there. That's my hospital. That go in the hospital. Go in the hospital. <laughs> you two are... <laughs> knock, no, knock. No, 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 no. Knock, 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 knock. Excuse knock. me. Hello. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Do Hi. you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior? No, 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 no. Oh, that's the wrong, that's the wrong bit. Oh. No, 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 oh, wrong so, one. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Hello, we are from the Plushy Pals Incorporated and we would like to mm -hmm. offer you a limited edition sheep plushy for sale. A sheep plushy? We, yes. yes, and we have two versions. We have mm -hmm. our standard white plushy, but we also have one. And it's only one at the moment. One has been produced. Uh -huh. Magic rare. rainbow plushy. Show her, oh, show her the Oh, can I see, can I Look see? At that. Look, if I... Wow. Look at that. Oh, mm -hmm. beautiful. And don't worry, it's not that it comes with a body too. We do provide yeah, yeah. that. It's not just the head. Oh, you do provide the body as well. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's comforting. Co good. <laughs> okay. So, are you interested? I am interested. What is this going to cost me? 
Okay, so a regular so... one is 10 diamonds, but the mm -hmm. super rare special rainbow one is 30. And as I said, only one exists right now. Only there is no one other. exists. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let, let, me, <laughs> let me go debate while I stare at my diamonds. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> what a sales pitch. Honestly, I don't even know if I have 30 diamonds. Do I have? I have 16. 25! Oh, I'm so close. Hello. Yeah, so. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, welcome back. Hello, hello. Welcome. So, uh, I thought about it, but yes. it turns out I'm actually a very poor wizard because I, I trade mostly in amethyst, so I don't have okay. a lot of these. How many, How do, many you do you have? I have 25. Oh. That's enough for a standard plushie. Yeah. You don't want the standard one. What would I have to do to get the rainbow one? Hmm. Hmm. Shall we go discuss? Hmm. Yes, give, give us a moment. We give us a second. All right, okay. Discuss. All right, okay. Thank you, Jam. Hello, have you come to a decision? We yes. have. And seeing as it is your first time uh, customer with our service, we are willing yeah. to give you the rainbow plushie for 25. Oh! So you get a discount good. of five diamonds. Oh, you guys are the best. Okay, who do who do I pay? Uh, well, pay it to Catherine, and then yeah, she'll give with you me after. my split. Where do you Thanks. want your plushing? Yes, yeah, so where would you like it for to sit? You. Hmm. Well, in my house, I think. Can I show you? Yeah. Yeah. We'll set it up. We need it. You show us. Yeah, this is part of the it. services. <laughs> we also install uh, the plushing. Oh, for perfect, you. perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Organic. Oh, you've got Catherine's head. Love that. Yes, we're allies. We're allies. Yeah, <laughs> we're allies. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think, like, in place of this cake. Okay. Okay. It would be good. Catherine, would you like to start the magic? Yes. One moment. I must dye the armor. Oh yes. Oh yes. We're giving it extra magic. I'm very yeah, excited. your theme, it's a very rare sheep plushie. You're a very rare uh -huh, wizard. Uh -huh. I feel like this is a good investment of my diamonds. Wrong way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you can't rush art. Oh. That's all. Yeah, this is a process. I could tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, one more. Ah, I'll do a nice <laughs> gradient. I just collect the materials. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Uh, hey, the boots are a bit of a... Mm, 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 mm. Hey. Mm, hey. Uh -huh. Go on. Mm -hmm. Oh, it. Oh. It's a delicate. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Ah. There we go. Wow. 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 Your very own rainbow sheet plushie. I like it. I like Fancy. it. I feel like I made good choices there. I made good choices there, right? Well, I guess now is as good a time as ever to go diamond mining. Let's be honest, I kind of needed to do this anyways. This is just a good excuse. I love a good mining session, but I'll be the first to admit this is kind of slow. Oh, never mind. There's diamonds. Whoa, look at all this ore. Sadly, only two diamond ore, but still, it's better than nothing. Regardless of that very lucky small diamond find, I feel like it's about time we speed things up down here. Yep, I've decided. It's beacon time, people. It's beacon time. Not that long ago, me, Flip, and Mythical Sausage got together and fought the Wither. And from that, I got my very first Wither Star. I, however, have yet to do anything with this Nether Star, so I feel like it's time we should finally do that. I just need three obsidian and some glass. That should be pretty easy. I have two obsidian. Really? Really? Fine, I'll go get one more obsidian. Perfect. A beacon. Nailed it. Oh my gosh. I haven't held one of these in so long. Now, the only problem is I can't actually use this until I have a full base for it. And luckily, I know just the person to trade with to get that. Here we are, Sausage's amazing empire. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Oh, the details. Wow. Sausage. Sausage. What's he doing? Um, Sausage? Hi. Hey, Jim. What? Who's this? Oh. Oh, this is Bubbles. Oh, I was going to tell you all about her. We, I did a, a spell casting. I, I did some enchanting, all right, of the spiritual uh -huh. realm, okay? Uh -huh. And I brought on Bubbles. I teleported her from the hardcore world over here to our world. It just it required a sacrifice, but it was great. A sacrifice? 
Yeah. That Let doesn't sound like you. peaceful magic. Okay. No, all right. Come, no, this is new school magic gem. I everything you taught me so far led me to this point. Okay. All right. Bubbles. Oh, then I'm uh, I'm so rude. Bubbles. This is Jeb. Jeb. This is Bubbles. Hi. Uh, nice to meet you, Bubbles. Where are we going, she Sausage? I came here oh. for a, a trade, and you're taking me into the forest. I'm worried. You're fine, Jeb. You're safe here. You know what? If you ever need to use this magic, because I know you're a professional, every single art of magic, all kinds, right? The dark magic, the the blood sheet magic, you know, the the, the, the inner, inner peace uh, magic, the yoga magic, the goat magic. Sure. You, you, you're good at all of them. If you ever want to <laughs> use this one, Jeb, you come on okay. down. This this is the summoning Whoa. circle. Oh, cool. There we go. Wow. Very magical. No, you forgot to do this. Sorry. That <gasps> works. Oh my That's gosh. how you do it, Jim. Oh my gosh. Now you can keep you can keep the wool. That's for you can keep that. That's fine. It seems a little Wait. cursed. No, no, no. That's what you gotta do. Are you meant to Whatever eat you... it afterwards? You can eat it if you want to. That's I don't up want to. You. to. That's an option. I'll I'll eat. I'll, Bubbles will eat it. Okay, it's just a little sacrifice. It's no big deal. That's what you have to do. Okay. Okay. Perfect. There you go. Oh, uh, I, well, I I was actually away um <laughs> on on a little magical retreat with Bubbles. Uh huh. Right? I heard. Uh, how from, was it? Yeah. It was a great time, you know, I got all the, the, the great nature magic to bring back over here. And uh -huh. I heard while I was away, um, uh, something happened? Um, I feel like we shouldn't talk about it here, because you live very close by. But I'll tell you what, we'll have a little meeting later. We'll call yeah. Flip on. I okay, built yeah, yeah. a special room just specifically for this moment, because we need to have some secret meetings. We can't just be talking about these things out in the open anymore. We're going to take oh, it yeah. seriously, oh. Sausage. Oh, yeah, someone's on... Someone's online right now. Yeah, you know yeah. about that. You have, like, ravens and stuff. You've got to be, yeah. you know, we got to be yeah. careful. They're up there in the clouds somewhere, and one of them has told me yeah, something the happened, and we might be in in war. Yeah, the clouds. They're up in the clouds, right? Up that way. There's definitely clouds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, okay, uh, now, I bet your iron. Bye. I need your iron. Come on. Come raven. on. Bye, Come raven. Okay, Bubbles. Wait, wait. Right here, girl. Wait right here. Oh, oh, she wanted that meat. Oh. <laughs> Bubbles hungry all the time. That, that's the thing with this girl. you got to feed her constantly. If not, she'll turn on me. This is such a beautiful place. Thank you, Gem. It's totally spawn protected. Nothing can spawn in here. Not even bad guys. Not even good guys. Nothing. This is like a dimensional force field around this place. I love it. Okay, so I bought you a oh, yes. a box. There you Ooh. go. For trade. Oh, my Gem. This is very, very beautiful. Yeah, yeah. you this. like it. You like it. Oh. I felt like that was, you know, a good amount of things for my empire. And in return, I need a couple stacks of iron blocks. Oh man, I don't know about this. I might have to AFK a little bit to get that. Let me uh, let me let me check my my supply. Mm, not sure. Hold on, let me make let me go. Barely scraping, Bobby. You can take three stacks. Oh, thank there. you. Three stacks. Wait, that's so oh. many. Yeah, you can have three stacks. You know what you can have two. You know what you can have two here. Have a whole stack of puppies. Oh, they're so useful. I use those for purple dye. Thank you. Oh, thank that's you. so good. That's so great. Here, have some chains too, Jam. You can have <laughs> chains. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Man. All right. Okay. I feel like. I feel like that's Here, good. Take some nuggets, I, I and some nuggets. Take some nuggets. And some, thank you. Thank you can you. make a lot of uh, lanterns with that. I appreciate it. Awesome. Wow. What a oh, useful space. Great. Well, I hope you enjoy those crystals and the calcite and the gold. Very powerful oh. stuff I gave you there, okay? Yeah, I'm going to do so many things with that. I'm actually going to use those clusters in a second. I'm going to put it somewhere magical. And I know just the place in my empire for this beacon. This tower. It's going to be perfect. Just gotta. Whoop. Yep, it's fine. That's fine. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Totally, totally doable. D yeah. Okay. I feel very fortunate to have such strong alliances so far in the server, and this beacon is gonna help me so much with future projects and building. The last blocks are going in. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't had a full power beacon in such a long time. <gasps> Here we go. Now the thing is. A beacon needs access to the sky, and obviously, being in my tower, it does not currently oh, have access to the sky, sky. I'm fine. Um, that's okay though, because I can break some holes in this tower and get it some access. Like these. That should do the trick. Yes! Beacon beam! Oh my goodness, it's perfect. And then on top, in place of what we just lost, magenta glass. So we get this beautiful magenta beam. I'll put one down below as well so that it's magenta all the way. Um, like right there maybe. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so now that I've broken my legs enough times getting down here, it's time to officially power this thing. I'm gonna use some iron. I want haste too. 
there we go, haste two. So this means that I'm gonna be able to mine a lot faster. Now I don't have efficiency five yet, I need to get that and then I'll be able to insta mine down here, which is gonna be so important for my projects. Mission accomplished. Oh, I feel so good about that. Maybe we can get a couple of these beacons, one in each tower, that would look so good. I love the purple beam. In general, I'm very happy with the planning that's gone on here. As you can see, I extended the plans a little bit more to include some cobble outlines of some potential structures that I may want to plop around eventually as well. I'm pretty happy with these. I don't know if these are the exact shape of what's going to go in here, but it just kind of gives me a better idea mentally of where I'm trying to go with this empire. Hopefully it'll make sense in the episodes to come as I continue building out my empire. For now though, everyone, that is all the time that I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I have a lot of work to do planning for the conflicts that are arising on this server and my brand new secret war planning room. I hope that you really enjoyed this episode and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.